2000s Flash games, an amazing era in the internet that is now completely dead and buried. Flash doesn't even work most places anymore, I think it remains unsupported, and the few places where it is still supported have remained pretty much unchanged since 2008. But I simply can't turn my back on the era because it's what made me as a person. Those games raised me, they taught me about some of the first video games that I've ever freaking played, especially if you're not a cool 90s kid but instead a quirky 2000s zoomer like me. But after trying to revisit one of those dear treasured games from my childhood a couple of weeks ago known as Age of War, I found out that there is only an incredible amount of disappointment to be found. Why do you guys do- what is happening? Why are you guys just railing through my guys? It's not even a freaking difficulty level, it's just, it's just you literally just make the game impossible, great. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you didn't try it hard enough. I just spent all my money on upgrades and I didn't get any upgrades. Hey, but at least the tower defense thing works, that's cool. I'm gonna get a mammoth kind of pulled. That shit the other- WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! Something makes me wonder whether or not if uh, this game is uh, supported uh, anymore. Cause I don't think so. So, in some sort of uh, search of vindication, or some search of redemption on behalf of Flash games, I've decided to revisit some of the other games from my dear old past and see whether or not if they're gonna be just as disappointing, or if they're actually gonna bring back some of that beautiful nostalgia, that beautiful, beautiful love for games that they ignited in me as a child. So let's jump directly into it because I have a list to go through. Ooh, Y8. Did anyone even use Y8 except me? I don't know. I'm not American. I'm Danish as well. And I don't know how much that uh, changes uh, the kind of Flash games that I grew up with. But hopefully some of you guys still relate. But if I remember correctly, Slope is one of the least advanced kind of games that you could get into. But you know what? Let's give it a shot anyway. I didn't mean to press lock in. Oh, beautiful. Steer with arrows, AD, or Q. Speed up. And I died. You can even get it on Android app on Google Play now. Time's changing. But I'll, you know what? I'll admit, this is still kind of cool-ish. As someone who is red-green colorblind, I'm very not cool with the visuals. But I mean, other than that, it's pretty freaking cool. I kind of get what's going on. I think the endless vista of blocks makes it neat to look at. And I mean, I don't know. I guess the gameplay is sort of gratifying in that it kind of has the sonic idea behind it in that the whole thing is just about going kind of fast. Oh, the blocks are moving now, it's getting more advanced, okay. I also remember being pretty good at the game. To be, all, to be honest, I remember being pretty damn good at this game, and I remember being able to get up to at least level 60. Speed up? Okay, we're speeding up, apparently. I don't know if this game just reaches the point where you get so much speed that it just sort of breaks. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it! Oh, Good thing I don't need color blindness. That's too fast. What's the leaderboard? Is there a leaderboard for this? Didn't think so. We go again. I want to reach 60 because I know that's what I could do as a child. My pre-adolescent brain, so innocent, didn't have a single clue about the horrific transgender adventure lying ahead. Did better at this game than me now. And I'm not, I'm not sure my ego would be able to take that. Oh no, come on! Oh my lord, that was too fast. What the fuck was that? Okay, yeah, anyway, that was, that was, that was pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty terrible. It's a fun time drain, sure, and could I uh, easily picture some uh, eight-year-old kid playing this on their iPad and having a good time? Sure. Is it better than Fortnite uh, for kids to play? Sure. Is it better than exploiting young people's gullible mind by getting them hooked on different kinds of microtransactions before they've even had a chance to properly develop their own opinions? Sure. Anyways, the next one, which I also believe is available on this site, is Bubble Trouble. Are you kidding me? I don't even know if I can sh- I, I- I don't even know if I can show you this game due to the pure awful bitrate. Great. Can I be two people at least? Can I- can I be multiple people please? And- and have fun? Maybe like control two people at once or something? Isn't that a possibility? Or no? Is it just not- no, no, there's just no- There's no way to connect a second player. Okay, great. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can only click back to game and quit game. Okay, fine. I guess I'm freaking... My options are cut out for me. 
This can't be it, right? This cannot be my freaking childhood. I refuse to believe it. God damn, kids who grew up- kids who've been growing up with freaking Friday Night Funkin' or something are living- are living the high life compared to what I apparently did as a child. Please disable- They have ads now! Now- why does it show me this now? Why does it start with the freaking menu screen? I don't- okay, just- just do this. There we go. Good job. I did it. Oh my good god. What the fuck just happened? Okay, this is genuinely awful. This is this is this is this is this is I mean the other the other two games were at least fucking playable. You yeah, know I don't want to be playing this anymore. Instead, I'm gonna be playing this. Playing with fire. I have not seen any YouTuber or anyone like I've seen a bunch of people play flash games on YouTube I've not seen anyone play this for freaking years and I also didn't know that there was a story that came along with it You've lost your mates. You're on your own the local neighborhood gang are hunting you down blast your way to them before they kill you great Give me three opponents, baby and give me I don't know which is better level four. Oh god. Oh Good grief. Okay. I remember. Oh, this is actually fun. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, no, hold on. I don't want to play this level. This level is ass. I want to play it in the one where we have, like, portals and stuff. Because I'm the blue one. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want my upgrades. No, don't take that. Please. Ooh! But yeah, this is basically, in case you didn't know, this is Shameless Bomberman ripoff. I am, I am well aware. Don't worry. But that's not what this is about. This is about this being my childhood, you know? That's what it's all about. Okay. And you know, so far, it's actually surprisingly fun. I can- I can see why I enjoyed playing this with friends when I was younger. Oh wait, I want- OH GOD, I KILLED MYSELF! Like an idiot. Okay, I definitely want this. Give me all of this. Please, yes. I'm actually losing to the AI right now. Ooh! Ooh! Oh good lord, so many upgrades, okay. Oh, it's only me and that other guy! Well, that's fine. See, I'm doing great! I think I might be very close to killing myself, however. And I died. Got a minus 11,000 score. Okay. But still, that was pretty fun. On a fun scale from like 1 to 5. I'd give it like a, a 3. Now we're stepping into more fucked up territory though. <laughs> welcome to inter... Um, welcome to interactive buddy. Um, I believe this is just outright not don't don't okay listen listen it's it's a little character there's no visible violence but yes this this may very well just be a torture game it's just a game where you subject this dude to violence and that's all you do and uh, yeah you get points the more you hurt the guy I can buy skins? Mmm, <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Every time I'm like, uh, people are like concerned for future kids because of the games they're playing like, oh, Fortnite and stuff. I just look back and remember that, yeah, I, I, I used to just sit, be a six year old and play a torture game. And there were worse. There was worse stuff on the internet than interactive, buddy. I'm pretty damn sure, but I don't think I can even show that on YouTube. There was some fucked up shit on Flash back then. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I I don't really know. I I just felt like I wanted to share to everyone that yes, as a child, I grew up with torture, uh, as a stable in my uh, in on my home computer. Next up, we got Raft Wars. Still doesn't work. Crap. Next up is Raft Wars. Hello? Yeah, there we go. God, this game looks terrible. But yeah, welcome to Raft Wars. I think this is another game that had a lot of popularity with people, like, in general, internationally, so I hope that people would recognize this game as well. Uh, meet Simon, a cheerful little fellow. He's having a fun afternoon at the beach. He's about to make an amazing discovery that'll change his life forever. I think I'm about to make an amazing discovery that's gonna change my life forever. Would you look at that? Solid gold. And diamonds. Lucky boy. Real Minecraft boy. We're rich! The good news soon found its way into the papers. And then, of course, pirates show up. Time to team up with your brothers and go defend what's rightfully yours. 
Sure. But basically what we have to do is we are on a floaty and we have to shoot these guys off of their ship into shark infested waters. It's brutal really. And of course we have the standard ammunition of tennis balls, grenades or missiles. This way? Oh that's way too high. And of course they are uh, using guns against kids. So much for not promoting violence back in the 2000s. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, we just outright killed that man. Take this yes, shot. shot. There we go. That should take him out, or maybe not. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty fun. I I'll, be, I'll be fair. This is actually pretty fun. No, don't tell me. Oh, oh, wait, okay. Can oh, right, I can upgrade. Weird. Okay, so the dog is joining me in the fight against Vikings. Sure. Ooh, ooh. Now that's see that that's a trick shot, and that guy's just throwing freaking axes. Stop. There you go. Die. Easy, easy, easy. But yeah, you know, I'll, I'll admit it's simple, but the whole like upgrading thing and stuff that really appeals to like my my five-year-old brain. I freaking love upgrades. Did any of you guys also play like the zombie game where you just upgrade a car? and you drive as far as you can with said car, and you upgrade it. Yeah, it's good stuff. And now we're just fighting regular gang members. Actually seems like a bit of a downgrade from pirates. Ah, shit. Don't shoot me, bro. Yeah, they're just shooting bullets at me. Hit me. <laughs> no, child. How about you don't say that on camera, please? Dead, immediately. Is that it? I hold on. I don't actually remember how far. How far does this go? How long can I keep playing this? Because I will say the amount of content so far, it's pretty good. And you know, compared to all the other games I've played, this one still seems to kind of work. And it seems I've already upgraded maximum my raft. But hey, it's not too bad. I can just spend it on artillery, I guess, instead. This is some. Um, <clears throat> Ethnically ambiguous, man. I'm not sure how I feel about that depiction, but it is the 2008s, maybe? So, I guess we're finding the Yakuza now. Eek, savages, hide your goats and chicken. Mm. Uh. Don't know how I feel about that one. I really don't. Baby, it's up to you to finish the task. No, god dang it. Oh no, baby, no. And I... The balls... I broke the game. I, I broke the game again. God dang Damn it! But anyways, I guess that is pretty much the conclusion of this nostalgia. It's just a beautiful, hazy mirror that shows us an illusion that we want to see in the past that isn't really there. Because inevitably, whenever you go back and play something like this, it's just gonna turn out to be broken. But still, I'd say some of these were pretty fun, even though the majority were disappointing. So if you have any other games that maybe you can reminisce from your childhood that you would like for me to check out and inevitably they get disappointed by, please do leave it down in the comments and I'll check them out for sure at some point. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.